for the right price, you can now train your own chat GPT in a browser window. Let's talk about it. Welcome to Clean Tech, home of daily technology news and reviews. And today we're going to be talking about ChatGPT and NVIDIA. Today's video is brought to you by Clean Phone. We're in them at the end of the video. So with the help of NVIDIA DGX Cloud, you can now train your own ChatGPT in a browser window for $37,000. You know, a small price. Heck, you might be renting the exact same GPUs that Microsoft used to help train ChatGPT and Bing. Let's jump right in. So last week, we learned from Bloomberg that Microsoft spent hundreds of millions of dollars to buy tens of thousands of NVIDIA A100 graphics chips so that partner OpenAI could train the large language models or LLMs behind Bing's AI chatbot and ChatGPT. Obviously, the kind of thing that you expect multi-billion dollar or trillion dollar corporations to do and not just, uh, you know, your tech startups don't have access to all that capital or space for all that hardware for your own LLM project? NVIDIA's DGX Cloud is an attempt to sell remote web access to the very same thing. Obviously, this is NVIDIA trying to, you know, just uh, uh, do what they normally do, uh, you know, try to milk the cash cow, uh, which is uh, the AI um, in this case. And uh, the idea or the consensus behind uh, their approach, well, obviously business first, you know, they want to make as much money off of this as possible. But more importantly, uh, they want to be able to power uh, the whole offer exclusively you need AI, NVIDIA has the horsepower to deliver it and uh, they want to expand this out there into every single niche or industry that's um, you know pretty much out there. That's the idea. And as today at the company's 2023 GPU technology conference, the service rents virtual versions of its DGX server boxes, each containing eight NVIDIA H100 or A100 GPUs and 640 gigabytes of memory. For those of you that don't know, that's a lot of memory. The service includes interconnects that scale up to the neighborhood of 32,000 GPUs, storage, software, and quote, direct access to NVIDIA AI experts who optimize your code, starting at $36,999 a month for the A100 tier. Uh, it's still a lot of money. It's, uh, you know, it's uh, quite a substantial amount. But then again, in the grand scheme of things, as opposed to like actually sourcing and setting up your entire hardware in the first place, um, locally that is, um, it's, you know, it's a fraction of the cost. Exactly that. Wonder how much NVIDIA pays Microsoft to rent its own hardware to you? A physical DGX server box can cost upwards of $200,000 for the same hardware if you're buying it outright. And, and that doesn't count the efforts companies like Microsoft say they made to build working data centers around the technology. So obviously you just, you don't need just the hardware because, you know, it's the same as, you know, just at seeing the hardware uh, on a shelf uh, in Target or something, but it's also the, the cost for setting it up, uh, maintenance and whatnot, and you know, there's just a whole lot of um, other different costs that you need to take into consideration. It's even possible some of the GPUs you'll be borrowing might be the exact ones Microsoft used to help train OpenAI's models. Uh, Microsoft Azure is one of the groups that will be hosting DGX Cloud. However, NVIDIA says customers will get, quote, full-time reserved access to the GPUs they're renting. No need to share with anyone else. Uh, also, Oracle will be the first partner with Microsoft uh, coming next quarter. Uh, and Google Cloud will soon host the platform as well. And, uh, you know, when it comes to cloud resources in general or cloud computing or cloud gaming or cloud anything, um, it's uh, the way that it normally functions is uh, there's normally a pool of resources and depending on, you know, the number of people who paid for the service or are active or utilizing the service, if you will, uh, they get uh, allocated different resources or, you know, different amounts of resources that they can, you know, um, make use of depending on their use case. Of course, I'm, I'm just like generalizing uh, the whole aspect of cloud computing as a whole. But uh, NVIDIA says, uh, you know, if you're willing to shell out the $37,000, you know, th those resources, they're exclusively yours. So, hey, albeit for a cost, it is a pretty good plus point when it comes to cloud computing. NVIDIA says, 
says Amgen is using DGX Cloud to hopefully discover new drugs faster and says insurance company cloud services provider CCC and IT provider ServiceNow are using it to train their AI models for claims processing and code generation respectively. Like I said, Nvidia is uh, out to pretty much uh, acquire every single industry out there or niche or market and uh, their whole idea is to basically have this implemented or uh, make it practical or reachable or accessible you know whatever your uh, favorite keyword is here to basically be uh, the sole provider of the services or to be the first one because that's generally the kind of thing that Nvidia likes to do Nvidia dominates the GPU market as a whole you need horsepower to power the whole AI thing to begin with and uh, when it comes to horsepower power exclusively Nvidia's got the hardware for it. All in all, it's no surprise that the upcoming day and age is for the AI. Um, some people might not necessarily realize it, but the whole implementation that we recently saw with Bing and Bard and ChatGPT and OpenAI and all these tech companies, that's basically revolutionizing the tech industry as a whole. This thing is single-handedly what's gonna power the future, the next five, 10, 15 years, and it's gonna continue evolving beyond our wildest imagination so all in all uh, you know considering that that's the future of tech uh, I, I would go as far as to say that that's a step in the right direction obviously over time the cost will get lowered uh, I would hope so but even for right now $37,000 is a lot less than $200,000 in my opinion but yeah those are just some of my thoughts on it let me know yours down in the comment section below Clean phone is the perfect phone for your kids because it allows you to manage everything on the phone remotely. It has tons of amazing features such as easily allowing you to pick and choose which apps and games your child can use, provides you access to active phone monitoring including SMS and phone call usage, allows you to control how long and how often your kids can use apps or the internet. You can even check their call and SMS logs including inbound and outbound calls and messages and it is the perfect way to manage their screen time. Check them out in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and you have a great day.